with the Washington football team. Now, obviously, My Washington football team, baby. I love this football team so Chris, much. Chris oh, has got like sure. six teams, man. Six <laughs> teams. Ron Rivera, of course, the second-year head coach, uh, beat cancer last year. Always a good thing. And and I love what they are doing there. Obviously, we there wasn't a lot to like about Washington for a long time. You bring in Ron Rivera, you get an adult in the room, and it changes mm, yep. the fortunes of the entire franchise. They make the playoffs last year. Um, the the quarterback, I think that they everybody thought that they should go and draft a quarterback. It, that wasn't really a need in their eyes. They got Fitzpatrick and they got uh, Heineke. Or is that how you say it, Kyle? Yeah, Ty, yeah. Tyler Heineke, Heineke, whatever. Heineke, whatever. And so they're they're treating him basically as a rookie. Uh, he was somebody who played in the XFL, and and I think it's worth taking a shot on him. I mean, in the playoff game, at, they gave the the Bucks the most trouble of any team in the playoffs. And, That's right. And I was I was impressed with what he was able to do getting a shot later on in the year. Their uh, their needs were listed as quarterback. Again, explain that one. Safety, mm-hmm. offensive tackle, wide receiver, and linebacker. And here's what they did. First round, they went and got a linebacker, Jamin Davis, out of Kentucky. And I, I like this guy. love this kid. He, uh, mm-hmm. hey, Chris, do you remember the interception return that kind of broke the back of Tennessee and basically yeah. ended the Jeremy Pruitt era? I, I was just about to say, yeah, this was... Uh, That's the linebacker. Gorantano is the one that threw that one, right? That would be correct. Okay. That would I be remember correct. it happened, but he came out. He got benched in that game. I was trying to think. Yes, did he, he did. Throw, I, I just he, assume all their interceptions. And, and this kid's anyway. a linebacker. I mean, he's he I is know. a bruising... Pound, and he caught it and ran it 70 yards back and has speed. Stud. He can cover. He's, he's an athlete, he can, man. He's a freak. Oh, he, and he will beat you to death. He's awesome. Yes. So I love him. Uh, offensive tackle in the second round, Samuel Cosme out of Texas. Like that pick. A pretty big dude. I, I think that's – he's a super athletic offensive tackle. That's, I think that's what you're going to need with this offense uh, if they're moving the direction I think they are. Quarterback Benjamin St. Juiced out of Minnesota. Uh, third round, Deami Brown, wide receiver out of North Carolina. Another stud guy. They got him in the third round. Fourth round, tight end John Bates out of Boise State. Safety, Derek Forrest out of Cincinnati in the fourth round. Sixth round, now you start taking your flyers, right? Cameron Cheeseman, awesome man. <laughs> Long. Cheeseman uh, out of Michigan. Edge rusher in the seventh round, William Bradley King. This is a kid that transferred from Arkansas State over to Baylor and was lights out. A uh, really good player. I, I like the fact that they took a shot here. Uh, edge rusher Shaka Tony out of Penn State, another guy that produced at that level. Uh, wasn't highly looked at as, you know, a big-time draft pick, but he produced at the college level in the Big Ten. I, I'm a fan of him. And seventh-rounder wide receiver Dax Milne out of BYU. Uh, that's one of those kids that, that caught a bunch of touchdown passes from Zach Wilson. He was a lot bigger than most of the people that he played against, but uh, but he's a stud, absolute stud. They got some, they got some dudes. I am a fan of what Washington did here. I think that they, uh, I think they hit this thing. Yeah, I, I like what Wash. I like this team too. This defense is going to be absolutely nasty. I do think next year you'll probably see this team as the best defense in the NFL. I thought they were one of the two. Them along with the Rams last year were probably the two best defenses. Maybe you could throw the Saints into that conversation. And then they just go out and bolster it even more. And look, they are one of the few, especially teams we expect to compete for a playoff spot who have no idea what their future quarterback is going to be. But they didn't reach here because teams forget. Guess what? Next year in the draft, there's going to be another five, six, seven guys who everyone needs to trade up for. And this is your court. So it happens every year. It's not like it's one year. This is the only year you can get a quarterback. And if you don't do it this year, you're screwed for the. No, that's absolutely ridiculous. And I love the Ryan Fitzpatrick signing. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. They also signed William Jackson. This team is going to be tough. I love the kid, uh, Diami Brown, to go along with Terry McLaurin. Uh, they signed a free agent wide receiver. Curtis Samuel. Slipping. Curtis Samuel, thank yeah. you very much, out of Carolina. So this offense is going to be exponentially better. If they would have had Ryan Fitzpatrick at quarterback in that playoff game, they probably would have beaten the Bucs. I'm dead serious about that. Ooh, that's that defense won the damn Super Bowl, man. That, <laughs> that, well, let's say Tampa Bay got pretty lucky on the way there. A oh. very close game against Tyler Heineke. A missed pass highlights. interference call against Looks the Saints. Like where an, an, both interceptions by Sean Murphy Bunting, which swung both of those games, were missed pass interference calls that were were easy to see. I don't know what the refs were looking at and changed the dynamic of both of those games. 
I'm just saying Washington's defense is nasty. This is, in my opinion, they're the team to beat in the NFC East. I like their draft. I like their free agency. The only thing I don't like, how long does it, imagine if you had a kid and it took you a year and a half to give them a name. You just called it kid for a year and a half. That kid's going to be a serial killer. No, no, okay. No, no, Straight no, no, up no, no, serial just, killer. You're so give the team right a name. You're so wrong right here. I love the football team. I absolutely love the football team. I am abs- I'm in. I'm so in. I can't even explain it. Oh, I love boy. this team for one reason. What well, two reasons right now? Two of my favorite men, and they're just football guys. It is Ron Rivera and Blackjack Del Rio, baby. There you go. This is this is without question going to be the best defense in the NFL because of those two men. They are building this team the way they want to, which is old school football, tough guys that will bully the hell out of everybody. These NFC East teams that are soft as hell have no clue what's about to hit them this year. None at all. I do. I do agree with you. If they had a trigger man last year, they'd be a lot better. I think this offense is going to be so much better. I don't know how good Heineke can actually be. But I know this, Fitz Magic is, he's still got a lot of fight left in him, all right? <laughs> he's still got plenty of life left in that arm, and they've got some athletes on the outside. They've got a lot of speed at skill player position. Mm-hmm. And uh, and and I, I think the football team is really, really good. I am not a huge fan of the NFC. I do not think it is nearly as as there aren't as many teams in the NFC that I think can win the conference as I think are in the AFC. I I would take a flyer shot on getting a Super Bowl ticket on this team. Okay. We got to talk about this name thing though. So let's say you get a cat from the lady across the street and you just name the cat. Hey cat. But I got from lady. Cat. It's such a, this big, is, but hang on now. This or, is not a hey, cat. kid who came out of my this wife's home. Like, no, you can't name the kid that you can't this give him those team, basic. And they're general. called the football team. All right. It's that w- kid would be a serial killer. That's all I'm saying. Love it. Nope. That's fine. This is not a child. This is not a cat. This is a football team. What are they? They're a football team. This is exactly what I would think Riverboat Ron would come up with. Yeah. Uh, to win the Super Bowl, the football team. to win the Super Bowl, Washington is plus five thousand. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a huge number. There's not a lot of teams in the NFC I love. Let's assume that there's a there's a fifty fifty chance that Aaron Rodgers isn't in Green Bay. Outside of Tampa Bay, tell me who you're in love with to win the Super Bowl right hey, now. Hey, I hold like on, hold the Rams. Uh, I don't love the Rams. Odds Rams to win my Forty Nine ers. They're going to be healthy, baby. Odds to win the NFC. You can get Washington at plus two thousand. I like that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just telling you. Uh, like we all yeah. assume that Matt Stafford's gonna, gonna go and all of a sudden be this guy that he's never been before. I think he's gonna be way better than he's ever been. But, yeah. but let's just hold off on the fact that the guy's never won a playoff game. He's only made it yeah. to one or two playoff games in his yeah. life, and all of a sudden now he's gonna win a Super Bowl. Let's just chill the hell out, okay? Yeah, they're yeah. Uh, they're plus six fifty to get there. Same as the yeah. 49ers. I mean, he just got to be a little better than Jared Goff, which I feel like he can do. I, I feel pretty good about that because Jared Goff's a can. No, nah, but He's that terrible. team, hang on now. The team that they've got now is not not as good offensively it's as true. the team that Jared Goff had. That yeah. That's the difference is that Super Bowl team, that offense had like three weeks in a row where, where they put up like 40 or 50 points back to right. back to back. They had right. much better skilled players back then than sure. they do now. That is sure. true. That is true. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.